proper gravel road must have three critical elements. A crowned driving surface, a shoulder area that slopes directly away from the edge of the driving surface, and a ditch. These elements ensure water drains properly away from the road. Without proper shape, gravel roads won't perform well even under low traffic. Maintaining this cross-section is essential for longevity and performance. The ideal crown is approximately 4%, one toward two inch per foot from center to edge. This straight line slope from the center to the edges ensures water drainage. A common problem is a parabolic crown, where the middle of the road is too flat while the edges slope too steeply. This prevents proper drainage. Use a straight cutting edge on your grater to avoid creating a parabolic shape. Excessive crown, over 6%, can cause safety issues with vehicles sliding toward the shoulder. The moldboard angle should be maintained between 30-45 degrees for effective maintenance. This angle allows material to be carried across the blade without spilling around the leading edge. Moldboard pitch, or tilt, is equally important. If pitched too far back, material builds up and doesn't move across the blade. If pitched too far forward, it performs only light dragging. The right pitch enables proper mixing of materials and efficient reshaping. Operating speed should not exceed 3 to 5 miles per hour for quality grading work. Higher speeds cause the grader to bounce or lope, creating depressions and ridges in the road surface. If a grader begins to rock side to side, sometimes called duck walking, adjust the moldboard angle slightly. Adding ballast, adjusting tire inflation, or leaning the front wheels in the direction of material movement can also improve stability. Windrows are small ridges of material left near the roadway edge. In drier regions, small maintenance windrows may be acceptable to provide material for the next grading pass. However, in high rainfall areas or on narrow roads, windrows should be avoided as they restrict drainage. Always keep windrows minimal and place them near the edge of the roadway to maximize travel width.